when you have watched countless, countless motivational speakers, you can come up with the same BS that they can come up with. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. It's, it's, here, hold on a sec, let me channel something else. <clears throat> We have our top audio research scientists at work developing a theory for a method, for a plan to figure out which frequencies are the desired optimal frequencies for the average human ear. Our top research scientists have not only found the optimal frequencies, but we have found a new equation where we find the unwanted frequencies. And with your help, your endless dedication to your craft, with your hands of experience, with your professional detailed eyes, seeing things that normal people can't see, we will get to our goal. We will get over the line. We will go for the gold. And therefore, my friend, I know that to some it's just another show site, just another gig, just another trip to the Bellevue. But what I'm telling you is this time is special. This time is unique. Because now is today and today is now. How are you going to live your life today as a technician? And I'm throwing down the gauntlet and telling you, tech life to the fullest. Don't leave a day where you do not tech to the fullest. You there, AV technicians, no one understands you guys. But you know what? I'm here to say that I understand you guys. I understand that you have hearts. AV technicians are people who have hearts. And I'm saying right now, as your PM, have a heart. You can tech with a heart. Back in 1972, when I was a professional football player, I did not play with a heart. But when I became an AV technician, I discovered after grueling hours, when I put my 10,000 hours in, to tech with a heart. And that is our greater good in audiovisual. So I'm asking you, what can everyone here do to move from good to great? Are you just gonna QC the equipment or are you really gonna QC the equipment? Are you going to EQ the room or are you going to really EQ the room? How are you going to get to that next level? Are you going to tape down that cable or are you going to make sure that sucker's straight? Therefore, we can all remember Devin Hall as the technician who took us there. You, sir, say that you knew Devin Hall. You do not know Devin Hall. We here at IMS know who Devin Hall is. Devin Hall was a great man. He was a technician, he was a mentor, he was a husband and a father. And every now and then he would blend a projector. So to wrap up, let me just state that we're here to remember a fine, outspoken individual who will always be remembered as winning the photo contest one month. <laughs>